It's 2.15. Um, when I got home from basketball at like 7.45, I haven't done anything since then. I've just sat on my phone and I feel really crappy for it. But like, there's nothing else to do. So, I just wanna go back to school. I'm sick of summer. I, I don't, there's nothing for me to do. Um, I haven't ate anything either since like five in the morning. And I think I have to go get Chipotle again because we still don't have any food. So, it's great. My mom just came in my room and I told her that I haven't ate much and she just offered a frozen pizza, which is uh, like really like the opposite of what I'm trying to do. But I mean, yeah, sure. How do you even not be on your phone as much? Like, what else can you even do? And that's just the worst part. Like, there's nothing else to do. It's 2.30 and I have seven and a half hours of screen time. It's uh, 7.20. It just hasn't been that good of a day. Um, just like haven't done like anything and I just feel crappy for it. But I'm gonna go hit legs. it for um leg day um i went so hard like i went up weight on like everything and i probably still could have done more but i'm glad i came and just did it because today kind of sucked and just being able to like let that out in here especially on leg day leg day i think is the best to actually like just let everything out inside of you that sounds kind of corny but like you know, I'm, it's like, it's serious, you know, like it actually helps. Like, I feel better now that I was able to just let like all my anger and emotions out. Um, there'll probably be more to this video. I don't, I don't plan these, but this, there'll probably be more to this. It's 10.45, um, I'm about to try to fall asleep. You know, I gotta be up in six hours for basketball last day. Um, but yeah, I just wanna sit like, to just say more about what I was talking about earlier. I just, that, that leg day really, really helped because, you know, working out is just like a healthy way to let everything out, you know, and it, you can't just keep that all in because 
just drives you crazy and I think I think that more people should really try to find ways even if it's not working out you know it is a really good way to do it but just letting your emotions out like that is just so helpful because today really did suck and it I'm not saying that it completely turned it around but I mean it made it better like towards the end of the day after like since I got back I, it hasn't been as bad just because I know I was able to put everything inside of me out and just push as hard as I can just against everything and I it's just one of my favorite things about working out you know you can it's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about it you can just let out everything inside you and I know it sounds so cringy but like it's it's really true and like it was so helpful I wonder if if I wonder if it wasn't leg day that it would have been as helpful as it was because I feel like leg day is just the best day to do it because nobody really likes leg day when they feel normal if that's the right word but um like when when you're not feeling like yourself and you hit legs you just go all out me per at least I do and it just made me feel so much better um but yeah uh, I just wanted to touch on that again just because I just want to make sure that I say how important that is to me and how much it means to me and how much I value that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go to bed now. Guys, what you're about to see is the next day. Uh, I forgot to film like anything before the gym, but I went to the gym and hit chest. So uh, enjoy. And my goal for this lift was just to keep the same intensity that I had yesterday. Just got back home and um i just wanted to say that today was a lot better than yesterday um just uh because i actually 
well, I work later, so I don't really have like the time to just sit here and do nothing. And I already got my workout in. I haven't been too lazy so far. Cause I mean, I had basketball and I've just been chilling and I'm not really thinking about what I was thinking about yesterday as much, but um, yeah, it's just like some days are good, some are bad and that's just how it is. But um, it's good that today is good. And you can always hope that tomorrow will be one of those good days. And that's just what keeps you going. But um, I don't want to preach too much. So I'm not sure why I'm remembering this now. But uh, I just realized that I never told you guys how I liked um, Oppenheimer. Because I said I was going to tell you guys how the movie was. And it was really good, actually. Um, I know I had a lot of hype, but I mean, it lived up to it. It was like, it was three hours. It was a really long movie. It felt really long at some points. Like sometimes I'm just thinking like, where does it end? Like, how do we get to the next part or whatever? But like, I still liked it. And uh, you know, there was just so much like uh, stuff going on like at once. Like they were just, I don't want to like spoil it too much. But they like jump in between certain points in time. And uh, like some part, some parts I didn't really understand like the story, but um, I know it's super long and I'm probably not smart enough to like get it all but um other than that it was really good I like I give it like a four out of five stars but um yeah uh, that's gonna be it for this video too because um I've worked in like two and a half hours and I have not edited this at all yet and I'm gonna try to get it posted before then so um thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one